We are back. We are back. We are back. Haven't made a video in a long time. I uh, was getting my mentals right and doing some other things uh, as you work through life. YouTube is not the most important thing. So um, basically, today, coming up on a new year for fishing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the two types of rigs that I use to catch catfish in the Maumee River or in any body of water really, but I only use two different rigs. One is super simple and the other one is just as simple, um, but a lot of people might get hung up, no pun intended, on um, what that that rig might actually be. So without further ado, we're gonna get right. started. So, the, so as a lot of you know, uh, I mainly fish for catfish. Um, so basically what I use is I use some simple five out hooks. You can go three, four, five, or six out hooks. Um, I prefer four or five out hooks. That's the way I like to do it. And just for this one, uh, you'll need a bobber, but I don't have a bobber with me because I'm not home. And just some cheap line. Uh, so basically what all you do, you know, is you take your you take your five out hook, like I got here. So a five out hook is like this on the size of your hand. I mean, like this on the size of your hand. Uh, just tie it up, count off one and a half to two foot. Bam, put a fixed bobber or a slip bobber on there. Uh, I actually like to use the fixed bobber. I don't use the circle ones, but if you've never used the circle ones, all you do is you uh, take the top of the bobber, push all the way down, you get your little hook exposed. Put your line through your hook. Push up against uh, that hook on the bottom, grab the edge of the red thing, uh, the top of the bobber, push down, slide your other piece of your line through there, boom, you have a fixed bobber. Same thing with the slip bobber the uh, or the, the long bobbers. That's the ones that I like to use now. Um, I didn't grow up using them, but I like to use them now. Basically, it's the same thing. Take your line, go up one and a half, two foot, uh, or depending on the depth that you're fishing, I like to do one and a half to two foot. And what you do is you pull the spring on that, you wrap this in through the hole three times, let the spring back down, and then as it casts down, um, your bobber will pull your weight. So as you notice, I don't I don't have any weight uh, on this on this line. So um, whatever weight is in the hook, and whatever weight is on the hook. Uh, is what's gonna what is what's gonna propel me out. So if I'm waiting, uh, this, this is the most time I'm gonna use this uh, this setup. If I'm waiting, I'm casting up into like up into a dam and letting the current bring it back down in front of the fish. Um, so that's basically throw it out. I have my bobber. It's it's pulling as we go down, and then and that puts you in front of the fish. You get to the you know the end of your line that you that you put out. Um, your line starts to pull, so your line will pull this way, and then you have, you'll have like this, and then you just reel it back in, put it back out, sort of like fly fishing or uh, something else. So, all right, guys. So for the second uh, kind of rig that I use for catfishing, uh, it's called the Santee rig. So basically, it's the it's the same setup, but instead of having a bobber, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna take that one and a half to two foot of line, and you're going to put tie it on the end of a barrel swivel. Uh, this is a, a kind of large one. Uh, you can get much smaller than this. They're usually black. Um, but this is called a barrel swivel. So then uh, you tie that on. But before you tie, a lot. this is a mistake a lot of people make. Um, before you tie this side on to your, actually, to your inline side, you're going to want to put a fluorescent bead on there like this. And uh, what's going to be your weight. So I like to use a Lindy rig. Uh, it's basically like a... Uh, almost like a no roll sinker, um, but it's shaped like a banana. Uh, it's, it's a weird way to kind of see it. I'll put a picture of it right here. Uh, but basically what it does is it keeps you from getting snagged on the bottom because you can w whip your line out and you won't get caught. Uh, but the reason that you use a, uh, a bead, um, or you can use, they have like little rubber pieces that you can use too, but I use a bead for, for this because you slide this on your line and then this when this slides, want to see it. When this slides down, like that, it protects your knot because you create a knot right here, and this is gonna protect your knot. Um, so then, basically, you have your your weight is either on a slide, it's gonna slide up and down your line, or it's just running right through the eye of of that. Um, most of them just have like the little eyes on them, so that's what I use. I don't even use the slides. Uh, but a lot of people, if you're fishing in really strong current. Uh, say like your the rivers up or you're fishing like um, you know the bottom side of a fast moving set of rapids uh, and you want to get your weight down there but you want you still want your line to get in front of the fish uh, what you're going to do is you're actually going to take your leader this is called your leader you're going to take your leader and you're going to cut it maybe 
uh, half to three quarters, and you're gonna tie a float uh, into there. So basically, it's just another thing to tie on, and basically, so when your weight is sitting on the bottom, uh, your float is gonna bring you up, and you're gonna bring bring you up in front of the fish instead of being uh, just slacked on the bottom or wherever the, wherever your current's taking it. Uh, your bait is gonna be sitting right in front of the of the fish. So here is going to be a video of me doing that. Got one. Oh, big one. Big one. Big one. Oh, man. Woo. Swimming towards me. That's a nice one. He's a slippery one. That's a really good eater. Maybe 24 inches, maybe. He's bleeding bad. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please comment, like, subscribe. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, thanks. Have a good one.